Get in there, Rob, come on. There they are, the lads. It's like a punch and drink show or something like that. Here we are. In your man beer con. In our in our little private booth. VIP. Access only. We don't know. Not sure about the access. We don't have booths to ourselves. Well, you just, get, you just get changed in the middle of, <laughs> middle of everyone. Yeah, so we're at Indie Man, as you can see, look, a load of people drinking in a swimming pool. And uh, Craig, and, Craig and Rob have gone fancy. And what, a what couple of two tokeners. This is the, uh, I can't see it from here, uh, double dry hot, all six or everything. Uh, from other half. Other half. Mine's also the half, it's, um, it's only a third. But it's Space Ghost, 9%, collab with Parish, so that's. Pretty hype, really, yeah. as far as hype beers go. Yeah, second beer had the had a nice pale ale from Burning Sky Style. With sensible first beer, but um, yeah, but got to get it while it's there, haven't you? Yeah, yeah but, exactly. Um, yeah, sensible first so beer. Sensible. I, 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 I might have to go for something a bit more hype. I've got, I've got the uh, Saint Mars of the Desert further beer. What's called crumbling? Crumbling images or something like that. I can't remember. Crumbling splendor. Crumbling, crumbling splendor. Uh, I think it's, it, it says it's a collaboration with Indie Man Beer on that beer. So, um, but it, it's, it's damn good. I think it's around seven percent. No way, actually. Six point two. Six point two. Uh, and yeah, it's damn good. It's musty. It's grapey. Uh, I don't know exactly what's what's in it, but you know what? this is musty and grapey. Yeah. And this is a double IPA. Oh really? <laughs> it is very yeah. grapey, is this? Yeah. But yeah, so yeah, I had, I had the first, uh, my first beer was Burn the Sky 2. Uh, indecision, indecision time. Yeah, indecision time. It's yeah. appropriate. It does, yeah. Beer festival. Yeah, but uh, yeah, we're going to see what Indie Man has to offer. Nice. Cheers. We're in uh, Wyland's room now. In Indie Man, it's a bit. It's a clash. Yeah. It is. And uh, we're drinking Wylam's Imperial Macchiato coming Indeed. at 10%. A bourbon barrel age, yeah. Bourbon barrel age, yeah. Oh, cool. Awesome. And, and what are the adjuncts in this? There's coffee. Hey, coffee. It, is, it absolutely reeks of coffee. Yeah. That's the big thing. Big, 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 big. Like espresso. Yeah, the espresso. Yeah. But flavour wise, I think that's where it really it, you get even more of everything. Yeah. It's like a soft centre to it. It's what I sweet. But very smooth. Yeah. You know. Still got a silky mouthfeel. Because I, I think sometimes when you barrel age a big stout. I'm presuming bourbon. Yeah. We're, we're, they, they, no, I so. always think sometimes they can they can become a bit thin. They sort of lose body. Yeah, they, they lose a bit. This whereas is, this actually has a nice amount of body to it. Yeah, I mean main flavour for me is do you know matchmakers? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They used to do a coffee one. Oh, okay. It's coffee matchmakers. It, it, it reminds me of uh, hosen up uh, chocolate creams. Mm. Yeah, 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 yeah. For me, you get that nuttiness on the back end. There is, it's there. And yeah, and, yeah this, this is one I wanted to try. And it's a two, it's a two token. It, it, it's it's might, well it might be worth it. of the year, the, the, the year, last yeah. year. Right. Fuck yeah. Yeah. This yeah. is also. I mean, it's got like uh, walnut husks. Yeah, as Paul said. Walnut husks. Yeah. Cheers, Paul. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's great. Yeah, it's awesome. Well played. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> you did that in unison. Hello. Oh, I've got my glasses on. We're looking cool. Here you go. So we're in the Lurvik and Beer Merchant's tent at Indie Man uh, and we're supping upon Tasty Juice. Which? was born at Indie Man, did you know? Oh, was it really? It was, about four years ago. Because it was made as a bit of a, uh, a bit of a joke, really, it? Wasn't was it was originally brewed by uh, Wild Beer Co. in collaboration with Lerwig, and it was called Trendy Juice. Trendy Juice, yeah. And then Lerwig made Tasty Juice. Yeah. Because it was really good. It was really loved it. Yeah. But it was... Because it, that, that it was such a good beer, like they... Trendy Juice yeah. debut in the, in, in the tent, which was Wild Beer Co's tent, which is where we're standing now. Yeah. Which is now Lerwig's tent. Full circle. Oh. There we go. See, if it was just me doing that, I, I wouldn't have known any. But it's that, lovely. Yeah. It's, it's really drinkable. Yeah. It's it's, it's near on perfect. Yeah, of like New England IPA. It's not overly melony or anything. It's got really good fine. Yeah. Kind of tropical fruit, citrus, low bitterness, but not overly sweet. No. Yeah, it's cracking. Yeah. Like I, I, I can see why it caught off. <laughs> yeah, damn good. Yeah, so we, we're we at the uh, food bit, we might get some food. 
Oh, probably would have more beer. Yeah, crab balls. Yeah. Here we are! Uh, what room is this? That indie man. I don't know, some Cloud, bar. Cloudwater's room. Big pool. Yeah, lots of people in the pool. Uh, we, uh, well, we're, we're drinking different stuff. I've got uh, Little Air Projects, lemon and raspberry. No, no, lemon and rosemary. How, much, how much is that? One token. Just one. <laughs> <laughs> um, but I mean, it's absolutely fantastic. It, it's really sharp, but it, it has that savory edge from the rosemary, it, it, it's fucking great. I've, I've, I've had this beer before, I think I might have even done a video on it, so I won't go on too long about it, but these guys have got a Kraken beer. From Preach Comforts. Where my, are they from? Uh, my friends. reason why I think they're from Georgia. Athens. Are they, are they from Athens, Athens, Georgia? Athens, Georgia? I think, I think they are. Yeah. If they are, it's, it's uh, good, isn't it? I'll, in the video, I'll put it here if Rob's yeah. correct. <laughs> and it's called, they made a note of it. I did. Welcome, my friends. Welcome, comma, Welcome. my friends. <laughs> Twelve percent ABV. Imperial start with. Twelve percent. Twelve, yeah. Yeah, with uh, lactose. Come on. Almonds. Almonds and coffee. It's fantastic. It's a one token one beer. One token beer. So two pounds sixty-five. It's a token gesture. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Yeah, it's beautiful. It's probably my favourite beer today. Oh cool, I might have to grab that next, if they've still got it, it on. It's got such an intense kind of like salt of caramel thing going on. Yeah. It's got a real kind of like, yeah, it's got a, it's got a significant, significant sweetness to it, but it's not overly sticky or anything. But it's, there's no ABV coming yeah. through. No. no. It's crazy. It is, it's, it's just so drinkable. It's, it's like a, um, I don't know, maybe a 7-8% stout. Really, yeah. Does it's drink creamy, like well. it's got a lot of it's smooth. Too. Lots of body. Yeah, that would be the only inclination for a, a big ABV beer, and it's not through the ABV; it's through the body. Yeah, everybody needs to be drinking this beer. Very everybody nice. at the meet today, I'm going to tell to go and drink. Well, this well beer. wait until I've got one and then tell people. Very loud, probably. It's all right. Yeah. Good projects. But uh, we're uh, we're we've all got something different, actually. I've got I, I've got, I just needed something reliable I could depend on. So I've gone for uh, something steady. Something, something steady. Oh. So I've gone for a day of steady roller man, and it and it's tasting great. It's, it's actually compared to the beers I've had today, it's really bitter. Like, and I don't I don't really think of steady as being like quite a bitter IPA, but uh, this one actually quite is. But. Uh, what you guys having? I've got I've got Daya as well. It is uh, my life in the sunshine. IPA collaboration with other half. You know what? I think this time around it's better. Yeah. A bit more citrusy, not as not as kind of melony, not sweet. Lovely. A blueberry sour from Vault City. <laughs> they're actually originally they're out of Edinburgh, and then they've actually moved now to Dundee. Oh really? To their that's new, new that's their, a bit of a move. Yeah, to their new place. Yeah, interesting. Great coming in with the facts. How's it been? I just spoke to Steve, so. Oh really? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, Steve knows. Well, he works for him, you should. <laughs> Say it. But yeah, look at that. 9.4% ABV. The pink is the beer. One token. <laughs> so yeah, there's been, a, there's been a few of these gems at this festival. Yeah. Uh, little, 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 little creatures, the apparel style. Great creatures, yeah, yeah, little creatures. Well, well, they're all the same thing, you know yeah. what I'm saying. All the breweries are the same. It is they're what it is. is. They're, they're little. Now kiss. <laughs> okay. Welcome oh to uh, well, Indie Man Beer Con. Yeah. Well, I don't know why I don't know why I introduce it every time because this is going to be one long video. So I, I normally have to cut out the introductions. May as well. So, yeah. Yeah. so we're by the famous fish mosaic there. That you can see 
Craig. Craig, 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 Craig did move. <laughs> there it is. And we are drinking uh, some hype juice. Some, some, some bro juice. It's other half. Other half. It's other half. Yeah, our missus didn't brew it. It's just another, it's that brewery. Right. <laughs> yeah. there's, Brooklyn, there's a drink in there somewhere. Bro there's a, uh, Brooklyn, Brooklyn New York. Special Reserve. It's alright, it's 8.3% ABV. 8.3, .3, Brooklyn Special Reserve, another half. And, uh, and I mean, it's. it's it's really nice actually. Unclear for you. Yeah. I've had, I've had, this is my second other half today, I think this is much better than the first one. Yeah. yeah. For yeah. me, it's, it's kind of like, it's a big kind of like citrusy juice. Yeah. Freshly squeezed orange juice, this one. There's, a bit, there's a bit more of an ABV kick to it, I think. Uh, no, I'm going to go. So. I've been yeah. drinking for like four hours, so. Yeah, yeah but. Nothing tastes like alcohol anymore, no. uh, It's definitely strong. Then, yeah, for me there is a little greenness to it. Yeah, there is a little, a, a little bit of a burn on there. Not necessarily bitterness. No. <laughs> Don't start all this shit. I saw this earlier. You, if you want to play chicken, you'll lose. You'll lose, my oh. friend. <laughs> Here we are. We've come from Indie Man. We're at Cloudwater's Unit 9. We're now supping on some some fine beers. Uh, but uh, it's very good, actually. So I want to do this as a bit of a sum up video of of Indie Man. So Craig, you start. How did you find it? Um, I got I got the train from Houston. Um, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, Houston. Yeah, in London. How did you find Indie Man? I got a cab off. Um, no, 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 you prick. I, I've been every year bar one year. Yeah. And it was really fun. It was really fun to hear. I, mean, I think you find, these, you find yourself in these situations where there's no bad beer, but there's a few that'll set you well on fire. Yeah. And there's a lot of stuff in between, which is, oh, yeah, it's good beer. Yeah. And actually, it's pretty good value. The, the it it actually was, yeah. There was a beef about fucking value today. Uh, a brew haha. Yeah. Do you know what? I think it was completely and, a, and actually, like, so, some of the beers you wouldn't have paid two tokens for, but some of the beers you thought, yeah, that's actually worth two tokens. I'm going to pay. If I saw. I would expect to see an other half, double IPA in a bar, I'd be expecting to pay £6, pound, and it was actually less than that. So. Yeah, yeah. It's not bad. It's great. Indie Man's a funny one. Yeah. It's, in a lot of ways it feels like a long time but then sometimes it, it just fucking disappears in a moment. It's a canter well, yeah. a lot of times as well. And, and I, I, I mean wrong. that that I mean one of the beer, one of the beers of the festival was a one token beer, yeah. but it was a twelve percent imperial stout from Creature Comfort. Like, yeah, exactly. It felt like it was value for money going on. Yeah, after. but but also it was sublime. It like, was fucking amazing. Yeah. It was like a the flawless beer. As we were in Gladwater, that, that's the reason why that brewery is here. Yeah, is the relationship with Gladwater. Absolutely. That's why Creature Comforts are here. Um, and it was beautiful. It was yeah. great beer. Probably my yeah, but. I'd say that and the uh, the um, Hi. <laughs> that and the uh, Wylam. Yeah, Mabes. yeah, Macchiato, Imperial Macchiato. Dave, you see this? Give me a T-shirt. T-shirt, <laughs> Dave. That's a great beer. How yeah. much do I need to harass you to get a fucking T-shirt? Yeah. But anyway, no free beer. No so free that beer. so that was that for Indie Man. So cheers. Cheers, cheers, cheers. Yeah. That's, that's just me. That's just, hey, hey. And there we go, we can end the video now because Craig said that.